Some vintage cards are really bottoming out. Let's discuss why. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. So, look, the whole vintage market is going through, I don't know what you want, whether you want to call it a bear market or just a retraction. I, I think it's, it's kind of healthy. It was inflating at an untenable rate. Some pullback is what we needed. The prices that it's at now are still higher than before the pandemic. 2019 prices, right? So, hey, is it a loss? No. As long as you uh, follow the old adage that Rudy always says, and I say is his best piece of advice, time in the game beats timing the game. Yeah, or the market, whatever you want to, however you want to think about that. Anyway, we're seeing a lot of pullbacks. But certain cards are pulling back 30%. Other cards are pulling back 80%. Now, this is something I've been preaching since the beginning. Penny stocks. Avoid your penny stocks. Stuff like Ice Age, Homelands, Fallen Empires. These are your penny stocks. And when you talk about ABU, Revised is your penny stock. When you talk about the Four Horsemen, the dark is your penny stock. Now, let's talk about the nature of penny stocks. When things go right, because it's a high risk investment, the percent gain is astronomical. It's like, whoa, everybody's talking about it. And it's a major thing. It makes the news and uh, videos and happiness and money being made. Being made right? You got to sell the cards to actually make the money. So, I don't know. Anyway. That's a penny stock, you know, high risk, high reward, very low entry point. Um, thing is, the part of that that, you know, people aren't listening to is the high risk part. OK, so a lot of people bought into the revised and the dark hype and now they're getting freaking pounded. And there's no Vaseline around. It is kind of ridiculous. Well, it's not ridiculous. It makes sense how much they're going down. Look, if you invested in revised instead of uh, unlimited, you invested in a set that has 20, 20, 20 times the print run. You know, like it's it's the prices that revised got compared to unlimited. It, it was just a disparity that doesn't work. And the same thing goes for the dark versus like legends cards. There were some of the dark cards that were getting up there. and It, it doesn't work like that. All this is to say, penny stocks, you know, these $1 cards that some um, that some certain content creators will have you believe are great investments. They are. They are. If the market is going up during a bear market, they are your biggest heavy bags. They are the biggest um, red numbers in your loss column. They are the biggest freaking space being taken up by worthless cards. Would you rather have a thousand one dollar cards or two five hundred dollar cards? The thousand uh, one dollar cards will go down eighty percent in value during the recession. The two five hundred dollar cards will only go down thirty percent each. So, what do you end up with? Two hundred dollars if you had the the thousand. $1 cards and 700 if you bought the two $500 cards. I don't know. When I see uh, intuition going down $5 in a week, I'm like, whatever. But then I see uh, Tornado. Is that one? Or like Martin Stomgeld from... Or, or Dwarven Sea Trader from... Um, Homelands go from a dollar to 30 cents. You know what I mean? Like in the same period, <laughs> it's kind of a no brainer if you think about it. Um, I think if you want to stay with reserve list and you want to go cheap, don't really go under go for cards under 50 bucks because that's like a kind of a line of demarcation as to percent loss during the downturn. Anyway, again, none of this is financial advice. This is just collecting and operating in the magic card market and trying not to lose your money 
as much as possible while doing so. Remember to like and subscribe. Um, data shows only 20% of the viewers are subscribed. So, yes, please hit that subscribe button. Um, channel memberships, Patreon. If you're going to buy any cards today, remember to use my TCG player affiliate link or eBay affiliate link in the description. Uh, yeah. Have a great day, everybody. Game over, man. Game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we can build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?